hello guys welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn how to generate and use the uuid so uh, let's get start so first question is that why we have to use the uuid uh, okay the answer is that uh, maybe sometime you don't want to use that a database can be the centralized unit of your identical uh, records maybe uh, you don't want to use the uh, auto increment id in this case the uuid is the perfect thing and the second second thing is that uh, sometime multiple components is generating the uh, your identification in the database uh, maybe they cannot generate the unique identification but with the help of uuid they definitely generate the unique id because the uuid is a 32 bit uh, long characters uh, actually it's a 36 uh, bit characters but after the uh, removing the hyphens they are the uh, 32 bit uh, long string and uh, it's be always unique uh, that's why we can use the uuid so now let's go and see how we have to use this okay so first of all i'm going my open my project so this is not going to be useful okay so this is my uh, web.php file and here you can see that the uuid uh, is already made uh, control uh, router so if i'm going here then you will see that uuid will be here okay so after uh, uh, doing the all the process we will uh, generate the uuid here with the example okay so now let's go to the uh, chrome browser and just search here web page laravel uuid this is the uh, package and actually it's a great package to uh, that will fulfill your all the requirement uh, regarding the uh, uuid so just open it and you can see that there are lots of things that uh, we have to use okay so i'm going to just start with the installing the composer so just start with that and it's going to be installed with the composer and it will take some moments then in this uh, moments i'm going to pause the video so that uh, video will be not much too much long so now you can see that uh, the web actor uh, laravel juju id is uh, installed with the composer so now we can start the use with it so for that uh, for once that is install or not this you can open your uh, composer file then just go to the composer.json and you can see that uh, this is installed here with the 33.0 version all right and after that uh, you can use this uuid uh, scope resolution method with the generate okay but with that you have to use one more thing uh, because uh, you have to import the web page also so uh, I'm going to just here and you can just use the print R all right and this will be this will give you the result and for import then you have to use like this use web page and uuid mm -mm, i think let's check out here it's a uuid then it's uuid and one once more uuid with the semicolon and now let's see the output here and you can see that we got the idea here with the full path so let's say if you want to just use a string then you can use a string function with that then it will it will provide the output with a simply string all right and if you uh, simply use the bytes then you can also use the bytes with that even if you see here you will see the bytes function here uh, bytes function is also a uh, very good way to store in the database it's uh, pretty fast to the string all right so this is the uh, bytes function and the id is also hidden from the uh, user all right 
so this is the basic thing and if you want to go for the advanced thing then uh, let's uh, see here what we can uh, do in the advanced so here is the similar thing that uh, how, you, how you can use to generate the string and bytes that we already discussed and uh, there is some versions like uh, uh, generate 1, 2, 3 and 4 there is a pretty kind of difference uh, what are the difference then you can watch here and uh, how we can use the UUID with the time and all these things so these are the these are the things and if you want to use the, in the eloquent uh, model then you can use this way also for uh, centralized uh, model for generate the UUID or generate the ID actually with the help of UUID as a primary key is also given here and the some more examples and how you can use a validation with the form then it will help you here all right so these uh, this is the basic program program that how you can generate the things uh, generate the uuid in the laravel so if you have any kind of questions you can ask me in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video thanks guys thanks for watching this video